Britons have reacted with fury to claims the UK was unlikely to strike a free trade Brexit deal with the US. Professor Alan Winters, director of the Trade Policy Observatory at the University of Sussex, warned the likelihood of Boris Johnson securing an agreement with the US in the near future was really low. His comments come ahead of Joe Biden's inauguration later this month, with US President Donald Trump, a supporter of Brexit, making way. But express readers lashed out at claims of the Brexit blow. Commenting on this website, one reader said, blame the Remainers this could all have been done four years ago. Another wrote, Obama famously said UK will be at the back of the Q puppet Biden can only say what his master s instruct him to say. A third commented, if a trade doesn't happen it's down to Remainers cause Brexit should have happened ages ago but the traders have done everything to try destroy this country just to get their way. Another said, we had nearly five years of this nonsense with the EU. Watu it is then Joe if that's what you dictate. The EU soon changed its mind. Professor Winters highlighted Warnada a key piece of U.S. legislation that governs U.S. trade policy expires in July. Dot. When protected by that legislation, known as the Trade Promotion Authority, trade deals are effectively fast-tracked through Congress with lawmakers unable to make substantial changes or amendments to the text of the deal. To be protected by the TPA, a US-UK trade deal must be put before Congress by April. If that deadline is missed, the deal will either be put before Congress and risk being delayed with disputes, or the UK could wait for a fresh TPA to be negotiated. Professor Winters said, the chances of a trade deal with the U.S. in the near future are really low. Americans want things out of the deal that are pretty unpalatable in the U.K., such as chlorinated chicken and access to a pharmaceutical market at high prices. Basically all things that the U.K. government has already said it cannot give. Now, they are not going to slip it through with Trump and Biden has lots of other things in his mind. He almost certainly will not appoint a trade representative to oversee the negotiations for a month or two. Unless the deal is presented by April, it can't go through on the Trade Promotion Authority, which expires in July. After then, it is unlikely that in the next two years Biden will spend political capital in renewing the Promotion Authority.